Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my beautiful face for the very first time, hi, my name is Adora and you're watching Life with Ada Beke. If this is your very first time seeing me, welcome. If you're a returner, welcome back. Please, whoever you are, do feel free to subscribe to my channel, watch my other videos. If you're a pre-med or anything, I have loads of content for you. If you just happen to, you know, stumble across and find this video, I have loads of non-medical content as well for you. So please feel free to peruse my channel, look for something you like, leave me a comment, and share like all that good stuff and let's get on to the video of today I just by virtue of being a part of this channel you know like having this channel and everything I get a lot of people asking me lots of questions and I think one of the biggest things that one of the biggest sources of worries for pre-meds is is finances is the money like medical school nobody has ever said medical school is going to be cheap everything about medical school is expensive but i think one thing that you know a lot of time when people think about the expenses associated with medical school they think about like tuition like you know cost of living they think about when you actually get into medical school however the process of getting into medical school as well is very expensive and I think that's why I always I always advocate submitting the best application that you possibly can, putting your best foot forward because these applications are so expensive that by the time if you don't put your best foot forward, if you're just applying to try you will end up spending thousands of dollars and i'm not even joking i will show you later what my own you know budget like my budget for applying to medical school ended up coming out to be um you end up spending thousands of dollars and not getting anywhere like it's applying to medical school is not only mentally draining physically draining it can be very financially draining as well and when you put in all that effort when you put in all that money and you don't even get an interview you don't get i'm talking about somebody who is a reapplicant myself like you know that did happen to me where i invested so much money and time into this process and nothing came off of it i want to tell you to stop donating money to ad comps stop <laughs> my message here is for you to stop donating money to the admission committee because that's what you're doing you're donating money to WAMC you're donating money to the ad comms if you're not putting your best application forward so I think for me today I want to talk about the true cost of applying to medical school um what that looks like uh for me I think for someone who is applying for the average number of medical schools that you apply to I do I do want to mention that like I I have it um, you're going to see the expel spreadsheet I had had my proposed budget what I was supposed to spend and then what I actually spent I was able to get discounts in different places I've mentioned all those places that I got discounts in I will mention it again as we go through this video but I just want the process, I just want you to know that this process is expensive. Um, a lot of people don't tell you the cost. There are a lot of hidden costs. Like you will end up, you know, you thought that this one was going to be here, but then you end up paying this and paying that and paying this and paying that. And before you know it, you know, one dollar here, two dollar here. Before you know it, fifty dollars don't come off for your pockets. <laughs> So I just I just want you to know that this process is expensive. So when you're when you're committing, you're not only committing time, you're not only committing energy, you're committing money, money, and it's not money that you can collect loans for. And if you don't end up um, uh, qualifying for FAP, the fee uh, fee assistance program, you can't even you know you can't even get help. So a lot of times you have to save, you have to open a credit card maybe and know that okay you pay it off maybe before school starts or something so i just want to know this process is expensive it's not cheap so whatever you're doing put your best suit forward so that you don't have to do it again you don't have to do it again because unless maybe you're picking dollar from from the tree you're picking dollar from somewhere i don't want you to keep donating money to these people but I've talked enough. Let's go and see what my own budget breakdown was for when I applied for class of 2025, incoming class of 2021. 
so what you see is that for me i i like lists you can even see down i have so many lists i like lists i like excel spreadsheets like they are my thing so what i did was that i had like the item my proposed budget for that thing and then the actual budget you guys know that i use the blueprint test prep initially it cost at, at least as I went, I was applying. It cost this amount. It cost one thousand five hundred and ninety nine. But I was able to get a discount through Dr. Ryan Gray. Like he had a promo code that got hundred dollars off. So it ended up costing for me fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> I paid for this because I brought part of the money, and then my mom brought part of the money. <laughs> so that's how I was able to pay pay for this. MCAT prep. I was working as a graduate research assistant at the time. So I hustled, I saved small of my money from there. They brought parts, I brought parts, so I was able to pay for my test prep. Then the MCAT test, as I went, I took it was $320. And so that was the actual budget. I don't know whether it has changed right now, but do you well to, to check. Casper, as I when I took Casper, was $12, and then there was an additional, I think, $8 fee or something for every school that you added. I think I ended up having 12 or so, 8 to 12 schools or so, I cannot remember right now, schools who required Casper. And because they required Casper, I had to pay for Casper. It ended up costing me about $132. However, now I saw somewhere that Casper is now $80 and it includes eight schools. So please, these and all these things I'm showing you are how much it costs for me at the time that I applied. So it might the cost will probably be different for you, be different for you by the time you are applying as well. So then I, I I used Interfolio. I've talked about Interfolio in some of my videos. It is a letter storing site. You can store as many letters as, as you want on there. It helps you to gather your letters, you know, like maybe if a teacher can write it now during the summer, but you don't need it till next year, they can write the letter now. You store it on Interfolio. Then whenever you're ready to send it out, you send this from Interfolio. I initially budgeted $50, so it ended up costing $48 for me. And that $48, it lasts you, it's a, it's a year. So it will last you for a year. And you can send as many as possible as you want. Um, I budgeted $30 for my transcripts, but I only ended up paying $15 for transcripts because one of my schools sending transcripts was free. The other one sending transcript was not free. Very unfair. And I think that's uh, one of my, I think it was my undergrad. You had to pay like $7.50 and I sent for both MD school and DO school. So it ended up costing me $15 for transcripts. So, um, my primary MD applications, I don't remember why I ended up like a, the cost came down, but I believe, and I probably wrong about this, but it's like the first application is like maybe $140 or something. And then every, every application you add is like 40 something. So it just ends up depending on how many schools you apply. So I think I ended up applying to, um, one less school than I initially intended. And so that's why it came out to 990. But this is a big, is a big, big money, money sink. So the more schools you apply to, the more expensive it will be. Secondary MDs are so expensive as well. As you can see, my proposed budget for my secondary MDs was 2325 I ended up paying 1090 And this is the trick. I actually reached out to schools. If you remember, I reached out to all the schools that I applied to and I asked them for a secondary fee waiver because of my financial situation at that time. And half of the schools gave it to me. I have a video about this. I have a video about how to get your secondaries waived with like the, with the template of what I used to ask, like the template of the email that I used to ask and the proof that I sent to them of my financial situation at the time. So... It ended up cutting my secondary's application in, like in half. It cut it in half. <laughs> it cut the cost in half and it ended up really, really saving me a lot. So I also applied to DO schools. I think I applied to less schools than I, you know, I had intended budgeted for. So that's why the cost came down. Then um, secondaries, secondaries uh, for DO school, I was able to get that waived as well. So I was looking for any way possible for me to reduce the cost of this. Um, the secondaries, I, I applied for the financial, um, like the fee waiver program for DO schools. International students are eligible for that. And I got it. So that's why I was able to get it waived. I didn't actually have to reach out to any schools or anything about that. 
then for interviews interviews ended up being virtual that was like the best part about covid is that interviews are virtual <laughs> the best part and so because interviews were virtual i was able to just you know save on that and then um second look i only i budgeted 2000 for second look but i only ended up going to the school i attend now i went there for my second look and because i only went there so like i this 600 dollars included my flights there my airbnb stay and then my um i used my brother a little bit to drive me around <laughs> so um i saved money on uber a little bit and then my feeding and then i one thing i didn't know when you actually get into medical school and decide the medical school you want to go to you have to now send them your transcripts again because they did not get those transcripts from waamc that's a scam why do they do that but I had to send that again and so that was an additional fifteen dollars and that's how i was able to you know my ten thousand proposed budget ended up being about five thousand dollars but five thousand dollars is still a lot it's still a lot imagine if i spend this five thousand dollars now i did not get in anywhere because i didn't do the best application possible and then i had to do it again hey god of mercy you guys my at the end of the day all i'm just trying to say to y'all all i am trying to say is that this application process is not cheap i don't want you to i don't want you to put in efforts for something that you will not reap rewards so even if it means you have to take an extra year even if it means you have to do a better mcat you know get your score up or rewrite this essay or get more activities or raise this gpa at the end of the day, that correctional thing that you're doing will end up saving you emotional, financial, physical stress in the application process later on, okay? And that's the end of my video today. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope that you're able to comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what the most surprising financial thing in the whole you know like the most surprising expense that you didn't even realize was a thing um tell me what's the most shocking most surprising financial expense in for applying to medical school uh was to you that i showed you and if there's something that i did not have in my own budget that you paid for let me know in the comments i want to know what people are paying for if some if the price of something has changed let me know let us know in the comments so we can also learn as well and thank you so much for watching my channel i remain your girl adabeke until the next time we see you okay bye bye